Shalom to Ophir Dayan, student at the Columbia University, head of students supporting Israel. Good morning, Yoni. So here in Israel, we of course celebrated in a very festive way Independence Day, the 7th Independence Day of the State of Israel. How was this day marked by you at the campuses? So we, students supporting Israel at Columbia University, we hosted a great event with Israeli food and Israeli music, face paint, flags, just celebrating uh, the miracle that is called the Jewish State of Israel. Um, of course, we encountered some resistance. There are several um, anti-Israeli, anti-Semitic groups gathered outside trying to protest Israel's right to exist. Um, that's hypocritical, um, you know, because they, they don't challenge any other state's right to exist. Um, but apparently water is more resilient than uh, ideology. So when it started to rain, they just went. Um, and that night, we also had a big party for pro-Israel students with all the pro-Israel movements on Columbia University campus and on NYU campus. I think it's going to be very dangerous at some point, and we should stop it now when it's still, you know, taking baby steps. Uh, we can see it's very dangerous as it is. I know many pro-Israel and Jewish students are not are not do, do not feel welcome on campus to be honest when i first got to columbia people told me listen this and this professor or this or this class just don't take it because they grade you down because you're israeli and unfortunately after a year on campus i realized that is true um we have even professors from Colombia coming to our event, uh, students supporting Israel events, and protesting us um, while they are professors at Columbia University, specifically attacking students at the university. And it's a very dangerous climate, and we should, you know, monitor it and, and do as m the best we can to, to stop it as it is right now. And so it's not only students versus students. We're talking here about professors and lecturers who are acting against Israel in the campuses. What could be done? Do you inform the authorities? Is there anything that could be done against this? So fortunately, no. My organization, Students Supporting Israel, filed a complaint to the university administration about many violations the anti-Israeli groups uh, took against us. Uh, and the administration decided not to do anything. We're in the midst of building a campaign uh, to maybe get them to actually enforce the university rules. Uh, but I have to be honest, we do feel bullied and we do feel that uh, our rights are not, do not matter to the university as much as the other people's rights matter to them. I think the, the climate on campuses, especially uh, the liberal arts uh, campuses, the more uh, uh, left-wing campuses, is, is way worse in real life. It does not represent how uh, people on the street think. But uh, being like saying that, it, it's very important to understand that these people who go to Columbia University uh, or any other Ivy League school are going to be the next senators, congressmen, uh, representatives, other influencers in society and what now seems to be only on campuses could very easily uh, go and and you know be a part of civilian life and that's going to be very dangerous for the state of Israel for pro-Israel students pro-Israel people uh, and ultimately uh, Jews a few weeks ago there was of course the apartheid week and that was a lot of challenge for you guys out there supporting Israel Okay, so we prefer to call it Hebrew Liberation Week. Uh, we do, my my organization, Students Supporting Israel at Columbia University, we do uh, twice a year, each semester, a week called Hebrew Liberation Week. This is a week that is, uh, we just like our main goal is to demonstrate the relations between the Jewish people and the state of Israel, um, and, and basically prove that the question whether or not Israel has a right to exist is, is an absurd question, and, and that the answer is, of course, yes, and it has to be in Israel and not in any other place in the world. Um, on the spring semester, it's, it's usually at the same time as Apartheid Week. Um, Apartheid Week is more of like they're just building a wall and standing there glorifying people who throw uh, rocks at Israelis. They glorify um, convicted terrorists. They, they say they send mail to, to the jails, to politi political prisoners uh, in Israeli jails. Uh, that's de facto encouraging terrorism. So what did you do? We, of course, called them out for it. Uh, it doesn't matter because most of the people uh, on these organizations, if not to say all of them, see Hamas as a legitimate movement. Uh, they do not not see it as a terror group, although the United States, the European Union, and the UN see Hamas as, organization, as a terror organization. Um, 
But I think this specific apartheid week that we experienced a few weeks ago was uh, a, the best example of how things are going on the ground because um, a group that is not related to either of us uh, decided to, to place a table uh, within our displays right in the middle and ask uh, a representative from Students Supporting Israel, a representative from Students for, uh, for Justice in Palestine to come and talk. Um, seven days of the week, we were, okay, six, uh, we were ready to come and talk and they were never willing to come and talk to us. It's a part of their, um, their policy to not discuss or engage with any Zionist person or entity. And I think it, it's, you know, demonstrate how things are on the ground because we're there uh, sharing our story, uh, willing to talk. And as in real life, they're not willing to talk to us. Now, with all this activity, you're a student after all. Do you have time to learn? <laughs> well, I try, but, um, you know, you have to, to set your priorities. And I feel like the state of Israel is more important than my studies right now. So, yeah, I try. <laughs> Ophir Dayan, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck with your studies and, of course, with the activities. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Yanni.